Yeah, I think we felt great about our 15 days of spring. Um, felt like we uh, identified some concepts that we can really hang our hat on, uh, both run and pass. And so uh, we're going to keep honing our skills in those concepts and uh, uh, keeping the guys ready to start September 4th. So, uh, so far, so good. There's a couple of moments today where we saw Chris Brooks, as he's now being called, um, looked like he's he got a little burst. Oh, man. More speed. Great. Talk about that. He looks great. Christopher's working hard. He's always worked hard. Um, you know, within my time here, the last 18 months, he's a terrific worker and a leader and, of course, had some soft tissue, nagging, chronic injuries um, in 2020. Uh, but he's worked hard to get back to being himself. And, uh, Yes, he's looked really outstanding these first two days. Is he possibly faster? Well, he could he could be. I know he looks more dynamic. Um, I mean, he's he's someone that we're really glad to have on our team. You got a lot of backs, but how important is he to uh, what you guys want to do? Well, no, he's important. Yeah, and they all are. We've got a great stable of backs there, so we intend to use them all. How about Brooks today? He looked. Uh, he made some nice moves. <clears throat> he did. He did. He made some nice moves and uh, working hard in between periods. Um, working on his hands, he can catch, and uh, I think we feel really good about that stable of running backs. How about the quarterback today? Anything really stand out? Um, right now, with these first two days, Chase is not getting the lion's share reps. We're kind of splitting them evenly, but when Chase is in there, he's doing a nice job decision-making wise. He had a really uh, great play that Keikoa Crawford today um, made a good decision, really a pretty pass. Um, and then everyone else who's in the mix to be the backup uh, had their moments as well. They're probably far down on the depth chart at this point, but two of the freshman receivers, Sturdivant and Maven Anderson, what do you hope to get from them this year and what is their potential? Yeah, we're hoping that they can contribute in some form or fashion, special teams also on offense. So they've got some ability. Uh, both guys have done a good job of studying the playbook thus far and uh, both of them had some balls flying their way uh, even today. They've got a little bit of size for you? Yeah, yeah. We have Maven at the flanker, and uh, J. Mike is at the split end. So they're on the field at the same time a lot, uh, doing their thing. How about the center? How did Driscoll do today? <clears throat> good, good. Brian Driscoll's in that mix. Um, ben Coleman's in the mix. And of course, uh, Sindo. Sindo plays a lot of guard for us, as we know, but he's also a very skilled center. So we've got some good candidates there. Bill, Damian Moore had a terrific game against Stanford last year. Um, didn't get as many carries the other times, but what's the next step for him to, to really contribute to the offense on a consistent basis? Well, I think just keep being himself. Keep being himself, and he had a good day again today. He's really good in the pass game, coming out of the backfield, running our choice routes. Um, sharp in pass protection. We trust him back there when it gets all exotic on the defensive side of the ball on third down. Um, so he's, he's invaluable to our running back plan. He, he's listed at about 10 pounds bigger than last year. Is that something by design? Or? Yeah, definitely, definitely. These guys have worked really hard in the weight room. Um, we've had a good extended period to really focus on uh, strength development, speed development uh, since we finished up there in March with spring ball. I, I did have a couple questions here from Trace, who was not here. Um, he, he asked about uh, Brian Glover bringing him onto the roster and what stood about, out about him for uh, Yeah, Ryan is going to be a great addition to the quarterback room. He's a, a sharp kid. He's played a lot of football for Penn. Um, really good athlete and can throw the ball uh, way down the field. So we're excited about having him be you know, in the quarterback room and bring his experience from being a, a fifth year college player and also being a sharp guy, of course, uh, in the classroom. Uh, and a second question from Trey, second and final question. Uh, it says in the first two practices, what have you seen from Kai Bonner so far? Yeah, Kai's getting some plays. All of our true freshmen um, are getting some plays, but we're being judicious with them. Um, they can't know a lot. They just they just got here this summer. So um, we're keeping the volume really toned down for them and um, asking them to get good at a few plays, not spread them too thin. And uh, Kai's been out there taking his share. It's been fun to watch. Okay. Anybody else? Coach, uh, Nico yesterday said that your offense from, or the team's offense from last year, very conservative and they're excited about what they can do this year. Do you notice that some of that excitement about just the playbook being opened up a little bit more and guys getting more comfortable with, with what you're asking them to do? 
yeah, it's been a really exciting two days. We had a good spring also, although we you know, weren't in our uh, meeting rooms or anything, but just two days to be in our meeting rooms, be able to use the film, um, be near one another, be a team. Um, it's been great. It's been great that we can, you're right, expand uh, our offense because we feel like we can prepare the guys better to do more. So we're all really fired up.